Hi, single Virgos. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to the channel. Um, we're going to do a singles reading for you guys to see what it is that you need to know and who may be coming towards you in March. Um, and I also want to say thank you everybody for being in the Sunday live stream. I am so very grateful to you guys for participating made me very happy to see you all in the chat and also i want to give a shout out to sarah for her generosity and helping others get their questions answered and sarah for your monetary gener generosity i am greatly greatly appreciative of that thank you so much all right you guys so be mindful some of the messages may or may not resonate take it with a grain of salt and uh, yeah, let's get into your reading, okay? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What are the messages? What does Virgo need to know as a single person going forward in March? And who, if we may ask, is coming towards Virgo? Okay, so we have a flipper here, okay. So three of pentacles. So Virgo, um, it looks like there's some learning or some skills somebody might be in school you might be in school or you might be studying or taking some tests um, or um, working on bettering your skills bettering yourself in a lot of ways okay and good seven of wands in the reverse being more open less defensive learning more um, it looks like being open to learning and i feel like that's a strong message for you learning about the self understanding yourself understanding other people okay and also there's an energy here of um coming out of your comfort zone virgo so i feel like that might be something you need to look at or something that you are currently embracing at this time in your life as a single a single person okay which means you don't have an attachment to anyone or just not in a relationship even if you are you are um, not really considering a relationship to be anything more than what it is so you've got the eight of cups virgo it looks like coming out of your comfort zone to embrace your dreams manifest um what you need taking a temporary time out to figure out which direction you want to go and what is going to make you happy and um, some of you might be separated or um, from a lover or separated from a relationship at this time to work on self okay um, and there is an energy here of retreating okay so i feel like what you need to know right now at this time is to retreat and to get into some understanding opening yourself up and letting the messages come and getting out of your comfort zone whatever is blocking you whatever limitations you have on yourself to reach your abundance now is the time to remove those restrictions okay let's take a look and see who may be coming towards you virgo in the month of march okay wow you've got the empress so some of you might be connecting with a mother figure um this could be a parent or someone that has children this is an energy of a taurus okay coming towards you and it looks like there's a new beginning starting with this person okay now this could be um a friend um it could be a parent it could be a grandparent it could be a lover um or as i said a, a taurus someone that shows up with taurus energy in their chart somewhere let me take a look here okay so yeah this person is like it's really stressing out why okay they could be stressing out finding about a pregnancy um okay so yeah i get a sense that this person and and when i say who i'm trying to describe the energy of this person so i do feel like they um could be a Sagittarius as well it feels like this person is inclined to be stressed or have anxiety but they temper it um, very well either with medication or with holistic type medicine or um, self-help or spiritual help in some way I do feel like this is an energy of um, someone who is longing to um, come into alignment with someone very special which would be you Virgo um, and I feel like this person stresses that they're never going to meet their person but I feel like you guys are going to connect 
Now, some of you might connect with this person at some kind of a social event in the month of March. Um, let me see what else. I mean, they have a really good disposition, Virgo, and I feel like they are, though, like I said, someone who is inclined to stress easily, but I feel like when their anxiety begins to get the best of them or when they stress about things, they find a way to self-soothe and um, bring themselves back down to terra firma and balance things out. So I like the energy of this person. They don't, they don't, they don't, they avoid the breakdown. They, this person um, is, they just have a, a good thing about self-control, self-discipline, um, not overreacting to something they have an energy of like okay i'm really stressing about this i need to like go take a break i need to go breathe i need to go walk um you know let me just calm myself down they're very good um at having they're very good with that do you know what i mean so you may recognize this person in that way that they are you might say to them how come you never stress out about things and they'll say no i do um i just know when it's time to relax and not let my dreams or my anxieties get the best of me i, I kind of like i get they, they may say I, I do get very stressed about things but i i know how to calm myself down so it, i feel like that would make of someone who's a very good influence on you as well okay let me see what else is coming up about this person Okay, so they have the world in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like this person is, they recognize that they have a lot of unfinished lessons that they have to learn. Um, they're giving me something about permanence here. Yeah, I feel like this person really longs for um, a permanent type of a relationship. I don't feel like this is someone who plays around or plays games or anything like that. Um, and as far as like where they live, I feel like they're they're in your periphery. They're in your sphere of influence. So this person is, um, they're not very far away from you, okay? Uh, they're near you in some way. They're in your part of the world. Okay. What else? Oh, wow. So you've got the star. This person sits... Wow, th this is like a healer or someone who is very spiritual as well. And I feel like this person is um, could be an Aquarius for others. And when I get a court card, that will confirm it. But it could be an Aquarius, like I said. Uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio. We said Taurus. Um, I also feel like this person... Um, they travel a lot for work as well, okay? So you're definitely going to connect with this person in March. Like I said, it's some kind of an event. If you go to, it could be a small intimate gathering, could be a large gathering. It could just be in a place where there are a lot of people, um, whether you attend that place as an invite or if you, it could be in a grocery store it, <laughs> where, you know, someone's kind of like juggling the oranges to see. <laughs> I don't know. I just see somebody standing in like, the grocery like I don't know juggling oh my goodness they just said this person okay they know how to juggle not I mean like actual like a, in a circus like they that's a talent that they have like they know how to juggle if you know who this is <laughs> that's one thing you're going to recognize by them either they like say hey look what I can do or you they show you or something like they're throwing some oranges in a grocery store and juggling okay interesting message um so, <clears throat> okay, so the three of wands and the high priestess. So this person, basically, they're, if you ask them what they long for, they might be very like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to get a better job or I'm just, you know, I don't really long for things. I really, like, I'm content. But the, the truth of the matter is the hidden secret about this person is that they're longing for someone extremely special to come into their life um someone unique and virgo you know you have a lot of unique qualities and i feel like you connecting with this person that energy is going to play out i will say with the page of cups in the reverse that this person um has had a breakup recently 
Okay, so they're a little emotionally dependent um, in the sense like when they meet you. I do feel like they'll be kind of like calling you a lot or texting, um, that kind of thing. <clears throat> I don't feel like this person is like some kind of crazy stalker or anything like that. I just feel like their heart is still a little hurt and they, they are definitely maybe similar to you, like learning how to overcome self and how to um, not let their fears and anxieties get the best of them. So the secret is what they really want is someone, you know, very special and unique coming into their lives. And when you connect with this person, I do feel like you will see a bit of a glow they have like a glow and they're just giving me that word glow so I, it's not casper the friendly ghost i don't feel like you're gonna have to worry about this person ghosting i don't feel like that's an energy that they have um they do have some apologies that they need to give to a past person um and this is part of their learning process um you know i don't know if you guys saw the video that i posted of a friend it was confessions of regret i feel like this person does have some regret about some things and um, they're coming out of this blaming the other person stage and are really coming to terms with their own um defects or decisions that they made that weren't conducive to a happy healthy relationship and so there will be some kind of conversation with them about that and so i do feel like there's a a vibing together and an understanding um, a connection gets made in that way so healing four of swords definitely rest and recovery yeah um so I, like I said, I feel like you'll meet this person in March, connect with them um, at s some type of place where there's a lot of people or just a place where there could be a lot of people like uh, it's a public kind of a situation, a public, maybe it's a Publix in a grocery store. Is there a place? Uh, is that like in Florida? I don't know where they're all at, but I've heard of them, a Publix. Okay, what else can Spirit tell you about this person? Okay, wow. So, eight of wands. So, um, <laughs> they're very romantic, Virgo. Give, give Virgo a court card. What court card will show up for Virgo? If you can get a little more specific. Yeah, this person's very open and honest. Clarity about their, wow. Okay, they'll give it to me when I give it to me. So, they're very open and honest and um, have clarity about their, um, the things that they've done in ways in which they have been, I guess I want to say there are some toxic behaviors that they've had in the past. There's a lot of opening up about that. Um, for some, this person has gotten out of a very um, toxic relationship, you know, and um, they also, either the person they were connecting with was just all about the fun and um the physical intimacy and it was just strictly that or they were like that in the past and and there's a realizing that it got them nowhere and it feels like really coming and getting grounded and um realizing i feel like that maybe they wasted a lot of time wanting to heal and you know have new beginnings in their life and they're showing up as that empress okay masculine or feminine let's see what else does virgo need to know about this person okay well there's definitely a new beginning communication let's see okay yep this person will say that um okay they're giving me visions of grandeur um hopes and dreams wishes but um struggle with commitment okay um so this card it's interesting because the seven of cups can be a card that talks about um somebody who lives in fantasy world you know um talks about like uh, this is the chasing waterfalls card um i feel like this person comes to term with comes to terms with in their own life that um they chased after the fantasy and and you know chasing after the passions which really weren't sustainable I, I feel like a real uh soul realization coming from this person all right let's get a court card and see all right queen of wands okay so masculine or feminine energy mostly this person shows up as a fire sign okay definitely shows up as a fire sign or they have a very they have very high uh fire 
heavy fire in their chart. Could be a Leo, uh, I almost said an Agitarius. <laughs> a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries, okay? Showing up very bold and brave, confident, self-assured, okay? So I do feel like, you know, you could it could be other signs like I mentioned, but mostly this person, when you meet them, if you were to guess their sign, the first guess for you, it could be their rising, is that this person is, an, is a fire sign, okay? And I don't know, I just keep seeing somebody juggle, like juggling, not juggling people, juggling like tennis balls or something or some oranges, it's a talent, a very talented person. Okay, they could be in the spotlight as well. So, uh, stable, good job, have good money, you know, um, well, whatever's good enough for them. And um, single, They're, this person does not have any attachments. They do have me uh, mental attachments that they're working through. But I mean, you know, Virgo, everybody does, right? Everybody's got something. The older you get, the more you have. Let's see what the love messages are here, Virgo. For you, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I'll see you guys. I will be back here next Sunday, March 19th, 1 p.m. Eastern, to do another live stream Q&A. So definitely pop back in if you are unable to get your question answered. Be mindful. Super Chats will get first dibs. Um, if you make a payment with a question, I will answer your questions first. But I also do my best to get ev as many as I can um, who don't. All right, let's see. Love message for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, your love message here is to let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Beautiful. Okay, keep loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So Virgo is a single person. Your strongest message here, let go of trying to make something happen. Let go of expectations. Allow your love life to just unfold the way it's meant to. What is meant for you will never pass you by. Um, anything that is passing you by, don't put your claws, sink your teeth into it, and try to hold on to it. Put your Sink your teeth and put your claws in yourself um, and love yourself first. Um, that is very attractive, and the one who's meant for you will notice that and want to come towards you. And also you have flirt. So be open-hearted. Extend your light-hearted energy to other people, Virgo. Nothing too serious. Just keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> it's just a saying. I'm not calling you stupid. Um, well, let me see if we can pick up this person's several different Chinese signs about this person. Okay, one second. Okay. So for some of you, you've got the rat, you have the goat, let me see, okay, year of the dog, now this could be them, it could also be you, okay, you have year of the pig, year of the dragon, year of the pig again, and year of the ox, okay. Now, if that, that person that you meet isn't any of them, don't stress it. It could just be you. Let's see if we can get some other messages here for you singles. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. So you've got your freedom, casual, dating, being single, and lightness. That's the second time that's come out. You also have children, childlike, innocence, and fun. So I feel like that's um, an energy that you should get yourself into during this time. Um, or this, you or this person could also have children or little or small children around you. You also have money, wealth, luck, and finances. So that's good. As a single person, you will be coming into some money, some wealth, having some good luck with money, maybe play a lottery or um, be getting a nice payout coming towards you. Um, if you're seeking to have children, the opportunity will arise for you here. Um, let me see. Be light on your feet, I'm hearing. If you're dating or meeting people. Let's see what else. Okay, and you've got communication, texting, phone calls, and online communication. So some of you might start communicating with someone online. Um, or have a start. And also, wow, you've got true love, an honest connection coming towards you. I love this. 
This is very nice, Virgo. Someone coming in very authentic and real. Okay, for some of you, this is a past lover. Or some of you may also be putting a past lover in the past and being done with a past love because you meet your true love. Okay, and for others, you could be communicating with a past love, past lover from the past who turns out that you both find out this is true love, okay? Um, so when you're single, it doesn't really keep you from the past unless you make that decision to keep the past in the past. But for a lot of you, well, I'd say 50-50, some of you will be connecting with someone new and putting the past behind you and or connecting with a past lover where there's a lot of change and you guys start talking again. Okay. Um, let me see what else I can give you other messages for singles to see what else you need to know going forward in your life as a single person. <clears throat> All right. Oh, okay. I've got heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, and moving on. Okay, Virgo. Some of you do have that energy that needs that you just need to process through. And you also have self-indulgence, focusing on self, self-worth, taking the time to heal, doing the shadow work, and self-appreciation. And you have girl talk, girl talk or guy talk, time with friends, moving on, being happily single, living in the moment, and just having fun. Okay. And you've got clock. I hope you guys set your clocks back. You know, I was wondering, does anybody actually set their clocks back anymore? <laughs> Don't we just, doesn't our like, our, everything's digital, right? Connect to the internet. So doesn't it just do it? I actually had to set my clock back in my room because I have one of those regular, one of those regular clocks. <laughs> it's like old school. Um, okay, clock. Need time, taking time, in time cycles time to heal and progress okay so for some of you your biological clock is ticking and you're wanting to connect with someone and start a family okay we do have children that energy is playing out for some of you um, with someone you're connecting with also um, some of you just need to take that time at this at this time to just heal and progress and if you're in that place right now because you're heartbroken and you want to meet somebody new heal that heartbreak first wait until that energy passes so you'll be fresh so fresh and so clean and so brand new for a love that's coming in here for you I encourage you all take the time to heal if you're still holding reservation or hoping for a past love to come back into your life or to make something work um, you won't heal if that energy is over you have to kind of separate yourself from that so that you can get that time into heal if you have and you're ready to start talks with someone from the past that probably will be the best time to do it because there's a clean slate in your energy um, or somebody new always want to start with a fresh clean slate Let's see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. Okay, non-committal. So some of you are just like, not right now, or taking your time with that, okay? Not being committed to anything but yourself at this time, which is good. Um, you also have, there you go, learning a new skill. And that's how your message started out here, Virgo, with the Three of Swords, uh, sorry, not Three of Swords, my goodness, the Three of Pentacles. So that's always an energy of like learning about yourself, um, reflecting on self. You know, I always say, if you want to know how to be a better person or do things better, look at what you've done in the past and then do the opposite of that. Look at the negative things that either you and so it's always about you, Virgo. It's never about other people. It's always about you taking accountability, looking at yourself. You want to improve yourself. If you want if you want to have a better relationship, you have to be a better person. If you want a safe relationship, you have to be a safe person. So 
the energy here, I, I feel like the message about learning something about yourself, maybe don't commit too quickly until you really understand and know what someone's about. And if they give you the opportunity to expose, not expose, express themselves and express who they are, you can make better choices. Um, but I feel like for you, Virgo, part of learning this new school, new skill is one of those skills is taking a look at yourself and saying, how can I do better going forward? What do I need to do? What were my negatives? And then what do I need to change? And that's just an energy of doing opposite of, you know, going from negative to positive. That's really all it is. It's one, but it's also like acknowledgement first of that has to happen. And then after the acknowledgement happens, then then we put it into practice, the new skill, the new, right? That's all. And there might be fear and anxiety attached to that. Um, going against the grain of your negatives, right? When the rain is pouring down on you, you want to deflect all that negative rain that's coming down, even though rain can be refreshing. Um, I feel like going against that it's an uphill swim it's you know going up the river against the water against the grain in uh, whatever areas of your life that you feel um you were negatively reacting or negatively behaving do the opposite of that what air whatever areas that you have to look for them yourself. Some of you just had a lot of fear and anxiety and let that um, get in the way of things for you. And so the opposite of that is, you know, my old favorite saying, and everyone knows this, is that love and fear cannot coexist. So you're either coming from a place of fear or you're coming from a place of love. So look and see where in your own personal life um, were you being fear-based and how you can be love based okay also stand your ground virgo yep i feel like you know have your convictions stand your ground do what's right for you you also have girls night out again so you know girl talk guys night out guy talk spending some time with your friends and really just enjoying your life right now until the person who's meant to come towards you will you've got loving over older female so for some of you there is a loving older female coming towards you as well it could be um, a water sign also and then you've got the tower i feel like you're going to have a major upheaval happening in the month of march that will send a ripple effect into your life the things that may have or the things that may seem to be in chaos were actually blessings in disguise. Um, this lightning strike that comes down is a blessing in disguise because it creates change. After every storm comes the washing away, stand firmly on the ground, which is where you have stand your ground, and know that whatever is going on in your life right now, these lessons that you're learning as a single person, this is all for the best. There will be improvement and change once you begin to improve and change. Don't hope for external things to change hope for yourself to change when we change everything else around us also changes let me see what other features can find out about this person coming towards you okay somebody with medium length hair oh look at that spin <laughs> somebody with medium length hair also have somebody who may have red hair someone who may have freckles okay oh and someone with very colorful hair all right they have colors in their hair hmm that's actually like so pretty <laughs> colors in their hair like a rainbow also have someone who's got a lot of tattoos and one more okay and could also possibly be someone who has blonde hair okay this is male or female don't get stuck too much on um the gender whatever one more they just say get one more okay oh someone weight lifts or is a bodybuilder or is muscular coming towards you 
All right, Virgo. Well, I'm just going to leave your singles reading there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope it gave you some insight and some hope about yourself, about your love life going forward. And yeah, don't forget, be here on Sunday if you want to pop in the live stream, March 19th, where I will be doing another Q&A. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys there. I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, love you. Bye.